Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel now in this video I will be doing another lash video I won't be doing like a style that I have not done before I'll be doing the same style as the first lash video that I did however in this video I will be pretty much talking about um it will be pretty much an updated video so basically I'll be telling you guys how I took off my lashes um and also how I um how long it stayed because a lot of people have been asking me um different questions like hey how long did it last with this glue um do you recommend any other glues and also like how did you take it off like you know did you allow it to just fall off by itself yada 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 so basically this last video will be about all those questions that people have been sending me um but before we jump into that video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever i post and leave all your comments down below in this video in this video i will so okay <laughs> so now I don't know what length I will be using but I do know that the curl that I will be using is a is the C curls so I'll be using the C curls for my lashes was it the C curl that I used? I feel like I used C C or was it the D curls I feel like I like the D curls a little bit the D curls a little bit more but I don't want to use much of my D curls because I don't have a lot. I have more of these C curls and I don't want to use all, all my lashes and not have, have any for my clients. Um, so yeah, everybody know by now what glue you're supposed to use or what glue I use. It's the Ardell Individual Lash Glue and it's the Lash Tight Dark Adhesive Glue. Now, everybody well not everybody i've seen a lot of persons under my videos saying as a lash technician or as a licensed um lash technician or as a license as a licensed esthetician or whatever esthetician or esthetician that word um everybody's like oh why are you doing your lash like that you're not supposed to be doing your lash like that this is not the right glue yada 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 one Sis. in all my videos I've told people before this is not the lash glue that I use when I'm you putting lash on my customers I use this glue on myself because this, it's my eyes and I don't mind using this glue I'm not really doing the professional eyelash extensions I'm not literally going individually on my lashes I'm not doing it the right way and I've said this in both my videos that I've done but for some reason people still manage to ask me questions and still comment under saying it's not the right glue how could you be using that glue yada 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 like sis what then I've seen another question saying hold on let me just start my lash so I didn't do um any beforehand fans I'm literally still I'm just doing the fans right now I didn't make any pre-made fans so this is how the fan is looking and then for those who don't know I put the lash glue on the inside of the thing because I go from under and not above and I lift up my lashes like this and put it under. And I'll be looking in the mirror to do this because like sis can't see properly here. But yeah, even in the videos when I'm telling people, this is not the professional lash glue. I don't use this on my, and then when I, I see one comment saying, um, Oh, she said she doesn't use it on her clients and how come she's using she doesn't use um these 
what the lash that she uses on her client she doesn't use it on herself or something along those lines and I was just like I said the lash that I use here or the lash that I'm using on myself I cannot use it on my clients because the lash that I use on myself it's less harsh so that means it stays shorter timing as opposed to the professional lash glue and with that being said the um how long these stay i've had them they stayed for up to i'm gonna say two weeks after two weeks they kind of start like falling off um they start like literally coming apart so these can last up to two weeks and sometimes even before two weeks they start falling off um as opposed to if i had used the professional lash glue the professional lash glue can last up to i've done a client's lash before and she came back literally like a month after and she still had pretty much most of her lashes on i had to take off the lashes to do a full set because she was just like she doesn't want a refill she want a new full set and if i didn't take those lashes off it would have been two different things because her lash still had so many lashes on them it would have been really ridiculous to use a different lash curl or a different length or whatever and she wanted to change up the length and the lash curl but because it was there for so long and more was still on the lashes that than she expected we had to just do everything over so for the lash glue professional one stays a little bit longer this up to two weeks the most if not I, I, well for me it has never stayed longer than two weeks it starts coming off um it starts coming off within uh like a week and a half or so but what i will be doing is for these that i'm putting on right now i won't be taking them off because what i did even for my first one i took them off to because i wanted to try um a next style so what I did was I pretty much took them off myself and I'll tell you guys how I took them off. Oh, and I almost forgot. The lash curls, the lash brand that I'm using is called Fad Lashes. So this is the name of it. And I got it from Amazon and I love them because it's easy to make the fans like literally all I do is just take it off literally I just pick up a few and you know how you pick up the lashes when you're making the fan you pick them up from closer to where the sticky part is and not at the edge because if you pull it like I don't know but you go closer to the sticky part like that oh i wish okay i think this part is better so i go closer to the sticky part and then i pretty much take out i can't even i'm gonna know omega show no. so i pretty much take out like whatever i want to use to make the um the lashes the length that i want or the thickness that i want Or how wide I want my fans yeah so that's what I do then I just take off um, some so I'm gonna take off a little bit here I don't know if I'm showing sure guys but when I pull it it comes off literally like that focus like this now to get it wider than this what i do is i just kind of put oh uh, this is so hard to explain i hold it firmly hold the i squeeze the bottom part and kind of just use 
kind of just shake my hands like this so it widens and then it looks oh I don't know if you guys are seeing it so it looks the bottom part looks skinnier and then the top part gets wider and that's how I make my fans and the skinnier the bottom part the more fuller your lashes will be because then you have more space at the base to put more lashes okay so taking off my lashes how I take off my lashes are because I can't put the actual lash remover on my eyes um, because that burns I've tried it before um, and yeah it burned the one that I got from my the class that I took for my lash class from my lash certificate um, the ones that the one that I got from my my teacher my trainer I should say um, or teacher whatever it is that one you can't use it while your eyes are open because it really burns like it stings it's like a gel like texture and it stings so I couldn't use that but I had bought one from Amazon it is a creamy consistent and where is it I don't know I'll probably show you at the end of the video because I don't I don't feel like getting up right now um but I use that and I pretty much just get you know the same thing that you use to it's kind of like the cleaning fob uh, I can't talk but this is the you get it when you buy like if you're supposed to buy like a lash training kit um, you're supposed to get these and this is what you pretty much use to clean your lashes so I pretty much just use this and put take a little bit of the cream consistent and I just put it on top of my lid I don't put it close to my lids I put it on my eyelash on my eyelashes and then I just leave it to like soaking over time then it just starts like falling off pretty much um or I've seen people use oils but I've never used that so I don't know I will again I will show you guys the remover that I used um at the end of this video because I don't feel like getting up and I think it's around that side but also, um, when I'm removing these, I'll probably just use it so you guys can see how it works in like full effect. Oh, and I'm using 16mm and 18mm for my lashes today. I'm going to be using these 16mm in the, in the inner circle. And then as soon as, while I'm going out, I'm going to start putting in the 18mm as it goes up to the end. Um... But yeah, this is nothing extra. I've done it before. It's the same thing that I've been doing. Same technique, same everything. I showed you guys how I made the fans. And all I'm doing is just making the fans, putting them on. Making the fans, putting them on. I'm not doing any specific style. I'm just doing different lengths, which is 16 and 18 mm. And with that being said, I am just going to continue doing my lashes. And then when I get to the end of it, I'll come back and pretty much show you guys the remover that I use and the end of my lash tutorial. I'm not responsible.
I could put one like right here. So I'm gonna put one right here. And I think this could fill in a little bit more. I'm gonna put Watch it. Um, I don't think I'll be putting any more on it for now. I will be leaving it like this. Um, yeah, I don't think I need any more to be honest, but <laughs> yeah, my eyebrows need like shaving and fixing, but you know. It ain't about the eyebrows, it's about the lashes, period. Uh. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, before I forget. Okay, so, like I said, when I was first starting out my lash training, when I was training myself, I had a lash kit that I was using, and I got this little glue. It's a creamy consistent and it's just um it's called it's lash glue remover it's on Amazon and this it this is what it looks like and literally all I would do is just take out it take it out it's this creamy consistent on it and then I'll just wipe it on my lash and I'll just leave my lash and then it will fall off um, but again when I am doing my lash removal for this one i will definitely do it on camera so you guys could see um but for now this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will definitely see you guys in my next one in my next one bye